Welcome back. I'm going to have another look at a puzzle sent to me on Twitter today. This one is by Go Away. I'm sleeping, so let's try to keep our voices down. Right, further to this comment here, I did have a look at number 16. I started to record a video on it, but it quickly became apparent that there was no way I was ever going to solve that for uh, something very unusual in that puzzle. Do have a look if you're watching this, and good luck is all I can say. So instead, I'm going to have a look at this one, number 30. This one has got an interesting preamble. It says, for this puzzle, you may like to know that 12 answers will be one across four across, and their clues lack definitions. So, there are 12 clues without definitions that are all of a theme of some sort. Hopefully it's something I know a bit about and uh, not opera or something, but uh, here we go. Link is in the description, of course, if you'd like to have a go yourself. There's so much good stuff on a Go Away I'm Sleeping's website. You, I heavily recommend it. Okay, often drunk on mojito and desire wings with it. Uh, often drunk. The anagram of often. Don't know. So we want this phrase across the top, don't we? Maybe Latin student flees 22 down prison hiding in road. Maybe Latin could be the definition. Student flees 22 down. Audibly going fast. Audibly going fast. Oh. I think this is one of our... Could it be Russian? Uh, I think this may be one of our uh, definitionless ones. Because going fast... Sort of, yeah, I, I like how that's constructed. It's... um. Rushing, if you say rushing and sort of don't sound the G at the end, it sounds a sort of like Russian. Russian, and I think that's probably the answer. So, uh, Russian. So our theme, there's something to do with countries or languages or something, which is good because that's something I do know a bit about. As I record this on the television behind me, Russia invading Ukraine. So how thematic is that? Uh, okay, so what was this then to do with 22? Maybe Latin, language. Student flees 22 down. Prison. 22 down prison. Hiding in road. Maybe Latin. So our theme phrase is across the top. That's a language. Maybe Latin. This could be language. Let's write it in and have a look. Student flees 22 down prison. Gulag Lane, yeah, wow. So a Russian Russian prison is a gulag. Student L for learner taken out of gulag gives us G-U-A-G, -G, and that's all hiding in Lane Road. Brilliant. So what's this one across? European language note, um something language. Okay, so we have to remember that eleven more of these are gonna be languages probably without Definitions in the clue. Adult A. Eh? Dogs regularly coming into cars. Um, dogs regularly. D G O O S. Cars. I don't know. And this, this is our lack of language. Can't think of one. Fish missing its head. To move, diving into groin oddly. That's G O N. Fish missing its head to move. I don't know. Can with one left for you. Ah, so this is, looks like a word where we've got to take out either A or I, meaning one, and we've got to put in a U for you. Uh, so again, it looks possibly like there's no definition, so this might be a language. Can. Um, what's a five-letter language? With a U in it. Or it could be... Uh, 
Or maybe we're taking out the U and maybe we're putting IL, possibly. I don't know. Need some letters. Urge son to leave brief meeting with old partner. X is old partner. X hot. Yeah, X hot. That is a uh, old partner is X. Son to leave brief short without the S for son, and that's meeting with X. Put them together, exhort, which is urge. Oh, is this could be Irish? Uh, Irish can with one left for you. I don't know. Definitely a language, though. It's rich in dialectal division. It's rich in dialectal division. Mm, don't know. Endlessly adventurous bloke on top. Don't know. This is tough, isn't it? Not much data to start on different pie chart. Data to start could be D. And then an anagram of pie chart. The whole thing means not much. Uh, not much. Not much, not much. I don't know, what is it? I'm sure that's what it is. Not much. I don't know. In Uprising, Pirate killed junior writer for time. Do it again. Do it again. Re... Junior writer. Was that a... Is a cup a junior journalist? Something like that, isn't it? Do it again. I don't know. Read something, I reckon. Focuses on skyjacking aircraft to a West African capital. It could be Accra, Ghana. Skyjacking aircraft. Wow. Think of claim from energy consumer. Don't know. It's involved in anger management. Yes, I got one. Hooray. Sorry, I was supposed to keep my voice down, wasn't I? It's involved in anger management. That is German, just in inside the words. And again, no definition because it's thematic. So we've got 10 more languages to find. Wow. Bear that in mind. Write back to personnel about 501 onions originally shaped like kidneys. Wow. Yes, nep is right back. Pen is to write backwards is nep. Um, I'm trying to think what this word is. Shaped like kidneys, it's like nephatic or something like that. Write back to personnel about 501 onions originally. All right, 501 Roman numerals is what's that? D-I uh, Nephroid or something? I like oid at the end No, perhaps not What's personnel? Men um, 501 onions, that's got to be D-I-O for onions originally. D-I-O. I like O-I-D. Personnel. I have to come back to it. Sorry. I travel to the west. Maori. That's I roam to the west. In the west side of the grid. 
sort of is that way. So if we want I roam to the west, we get Maori, a language, no uh, definition of course. 21 across, not for real, laid out a Mexican dish, enchilada. Um, could be, 21 across. Depression turns tango into foxtrot, right, T and F, NATO phonetic alphabet. I wonder if this is another language. Uh, depression sent. So we need to got a word for depression, and we need to change a T to an F. French, French. That is a trench with the T changed to an F. So we've got one, two, three, four languages now. French, good. So this from something to do with twenty to one across, wasn't it? French, not for real. Laid out. A Mexican dish. French, not for real. It's for real FR. That gives us ench in the start of enchilada. FR is for real, is it? I've not seen that before. Ench laid out is I L A D and then A is A. Enchilada. Delicious. Bite into politician Chomp, who supports business restricting hospital. So bite is Chomp. Politician is MP, because that's at the bottom of a down clue. It's supporting the letters above it. Business, CO, company. And H for hospital, like on a map. Chomp. Very nice. Spirit. That'll fill me up, we hear. Spirit. That'll fill me up, we hear. Dunno. Revolution for climate without borders. So this looks like an anagram of climate without its borders. So it's going to be um, Tamil. Yeah, it's, well, it's not an anagram, it's backwards. Tamil. If we get rid of the borders of that, that's a modern language. That's from... Southern India and Sri Lanka, I think. Start to take the end off, ending off. Can I come back? Don't know. Victor quits. Victor is usually V. Quits studying revolution. Less discreetly. Victor quits studying. Dunno. Stainless pan is heated partially. Spanish. It's hidden in that phrase. Spanish. Um, muy bien. So Victor quits studying revolution less discreetly. Noisily. It's got to be noisily, hasn't it? How does that work then? Victor quits studying revolution. Don't know. Not sure how that works. Studying. Don't know. Maybe it's wrong. Let me know how that works in the comments. Half of all swamps hide lice. Half of all swamps hide lice. Oh, Swahili, very nice. So this is half of all of the remaining words. Swamp, S-W-A, hide, H-I, lice, L-I. And put those together. Swahili, a modern language. Oh, modern language. Could be. Write back to personnel about 501 onions originally shaped like kidneys. I'm sure this is an H, this next letter, Nef. Maybe noisily is not right. Right, right back, we've got that. To personnel, about five, so the personnel, about 501. What did we say that was? DI. What is it? 
personnel. I'm trying to think what that is. It could be men, it could be... No, I'm not sure about noisily now. Victor quits studying revolution less discreetly. Noisier could be. Noisier. Still not sure how that works. Yeah, I think this is going to be Nephroid. Nephroid. Pen. Oh, HR personnel, of course. And then. HR, right back, pen, nep, to personnel, HR, about 501 onions originally, DIO, backwards, I suppose the about is saying anagram, an anagram of DIO, nephroid, I think that's it, wow, tricky that one, start to take the end off ending off, can I come back? Can I come back? Can't even think of a word that fits there. In. Don't know. Start, started to take the end off. Started. Began. In. Initiate. Initiated. It started. Let's write that in and have a look. Started to take the end off, ending off. Can I come back? Started. To take the end off, ending off. Don't know. Come back to that if it doesn't look right. Okay. Without the first two, played on. Partying sometime later. Without the first two, so take the first two letters off of something that means played on. Partying. Sometime later. I don't know. Wed before this husband enters primarily ugly dalliance with 27 across, which we haven't got, drunk. Wed. That could be Wednesday, so maybe W. Before this husband, well, H's husband, enters primarily ugly dalliance. So that would be, would that be UD? With an anagram of this. <laughs> I don't know. Spirit, that'll fill me up, we hear. Spirit, soul. Um... What's a spirit being with S? Don't know. No, I don't know. Wed before this husband. That's got to be the H. Enters primarily ugly dalliance. Or primarily ugly is you. Could be a you. Oh, wed before this. Could it be Thursday? Wed before this. So that could be our definition. Husband. H enters primarily ugly dalliance. So that's our U and D. Although, well, let's write it in and have a look. Husband enters primarily, husband enters U, D, but the H isn't between the U and the D, is my problem. Anyway, if it is that, We've got what we've we got left. T R S A M Y. Oh, Satter, that's a spirit, isn't it? That's from 
What country's bed legend is that from? I'm not sure. That's a spirit anyway. That'll fill me up, we hear. Sata? I don't even know how you pronounce this word. But it's a it's a sound like one. However you say it, it must sound like that'll fill me up, I suppose. Sata or something? I don't know. Sorry, some uh, some questions in this bottom right corner. Without the first two, played on. Partying sometime later. One day? That's sometime later. Let's write it in and have a look. Played on. Partying. Played on. Partying. Oh, sorry, it's just an anagram, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, without the first two, so get rid of the P and the L, and it's an anagram of A, the rest of it, A-Y-E-D-O-N. And partying is the anagram indicator. Yeah, sorry, that's easier than I made it. Did Mark set off raising ton? Notated or something. Did Mark set off? Did Mark annotated is Mark, isn't it? Let's write it in. It always helps to write it in and have a look. That's the good thing about doing these um, online, isn't it? Rather than in a newspaper. Um, did Mark set off? Did so annotated is Mark set off raising ton. I can see ton backwards here. Set off. Mm, not sure. Mm, might be wrong. Don't know. North American country run by a dictator. North American country, there's lots of those, run by dictator. No, nope, don't know. Fish missing its head to move, diving into groin oddly. G-O-N is groin oddly. Don't know. What's this language? Can with one left for you. Can. Can. The only one I can think of is Irish. Adult dogs regularly coming into cars. Uh, so dogs regularly would be either D, G or O, S, probably. I don't know. This is hard. Help. So is this modern? Let's write it in and have a look. Often drunk on mojito and desired wings with it. Pfft. Don't see how that's modern. Desires. Desire wings with it. Desire wings could be the wings of the word desire, D and E. Oh, and often drunk, it could be R, N. With it is modern. Oh, that's the definition, with it. So we got R, N, and M, O for mojito. Oh, it's mojito and desire wings, so M, O, and D, E, and then I, wow. If you solve that cold, well done. Blimey, modern, modern language. So that's our theme. I'm not sure how many we've got. Must be a few more. Endlessly adventurous bloke, man, on top. Might not be man. Does this begin with N? 
Wearing pants with Ottoman frills. I, I want to write Norwegian in. Oh, it is Norway, is it? No. No, it is. It's an anagram of wearing with the frills, which I suppose means the first and last letters of Ottoman. So, O, N, and wearing, anagram, Norwegian. See, sometimes a theme is a big help. It's rich in dialectal division. Well, good. Not much day. Oh, yeah, this one. Not much data to start on different pie chart. So, yeah, it was D. Then we've got an anagram of pie chart. Dark. No. Deep. No. Not much. Dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. If it doesn't cost very much, it is dirt cheap. Focuses on skyjacking aircraft. Do we wear? Could be a craft still, capital of Ghana. Focuses on skyjacking aircraft to a West Africa. Skyjacking, I just don't know. What skyjacking is doing in the clue? Um, focuses on. <sighs> in uprising, pirate. Yeah, do it again. So re. Oh no, re. It's not re. In uprising, pirate. What's a pirate? Um, killed junior writer for time. That could be an A. In uprising. Privateer backwards. Privateer. That's W R E E. Re. Pirate. In uprising, pirate killed a junior writer for time. Re. I don't know. Think of claim from energy consumer. Think of claim. Think of. No, don't know. Endlessly adventurous bloke on top. So it does look like man. Man. Endlessly adventurous. Adventurous. Bold. Uh, daring. Oh, daring. Mand oh. Oh. Mandarin. It's a theme one. So it's man with uh, daring without the last letter. And that's a language. So this must be a cra. I don't think I understand why. Focus is on skyjacking aircraft to a West African capital. Is there something to do with the letters in aircraft? I don't know. Let me know in the comments how that works. Do it again. Re reenact. Re. Let's write that in and have a look. Reenact. Buc 
Buccaneer. Oh, it is. It's, wow, it's Buccaneer. So, yeah, I said earlier, Cub was a junior journalist. It is. So it's Buccaneer backwards, but with a T instead of the um, Cub. Wow, that is really hard. Yeah, Buccaneer without the Buck and with a T and backwards. Cool. Think of claim from energy consumer. Energy can be E. Think of. I don't think this is a language one. I don't know. Think of. Um, think of. Keep wanting to put idea in. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to get any more letters on that one either, are we? It's rich in dialectal division. I keep wanting to think it's a hidden one, but... Meaning rich. Division. Oh. Oh, it is a hidden one, but it's... Ah, it's a theme one. It's Hindi, H-I-N-D-I. -I. Yeah, so saying division is a, a division of this phrase, I suppose. Hindi. All right, I don't know how many languages we've got now. I might have to count them in a minute. I'll give out dates with different ripeness. It's like an anagram of ripeness and D. It'll give out... Um, dispenser. I should have looked at this one earlier. Dispenser, that's D for date, like um, DMY, day, month, year, sort of. Now, why is D for date? I don't know, but it is. And an anagram of ripeness, and we get a dispenser. It'll give out. I don't recall having this. Am I sane? That's worrying. Amnesia. Another anagram. I don't know why I didn't look at those two earlier. That's <laughs> annoying. I don't recall having this. Yeah. So that's the sort of cryptic definition. And then it's worrying means an anagram of am I sane. Also, the whole thing is a, sort of a alluding to um, amnesia, isn't it? So that's a very clever clue. I like that. North American country run by dictator. Panama. Um, you know, adult dogs regularly coming into cars, autos, oh it is, oh, sorry, I'm such a bad solver, I'm sure everybody saw this, it is just regularly every other letter of this phrase, A-U-T-O-S, that's so easy, but I just, I get fixed on adult is A and then it must be part of this and I, I just, Oh, Dutch then here, is it? Can with one left for you. Ditch. If you can something, you ditch it. Like that. And then we're saying one I is left. I is one Roman numerals. And you, we're putting it instead. It's Dutch. Right, we're nearly there. Fish missing its head to move, diving into groin oddly. Yeah, groin oddly has got to be that, hasn't it? Or the O could be there, actually. Gudgeon? Is that a fish? Vaguely heard that word. Fish missing its head to move. Missing its head. Surely... Surely fish is our definition here. Um, Missing its head to move. Oh, nudge. Miss. So, yeah, so it's nudge, missing its head, first letter, N. And we put that inside G-O-N, which is odd letters of this word. Gudgeon, must be a fish. Right. North American country. That could be N-A for North American. Run by dictator. Uh... 
a North American country run by dictator. Is this going to be a language? Possibly, possibly not. I haven't kept count. North American country run by dictator. Well, I've come to a halt in the middle here. Think of claim from energy consumer. I don't think this is a language. This one could be a language. Let's count how many we've got. Norwegian, Dutch, Spanish, French, Maori. That's five. Mandarin, German, Hindi, Swahili, Russian. I think that is ten. Okay. Think of claim from energy consumer. I, I did. I was thinking, oh, if it is, oh, well, I was thinking along the lines of idea and then ideate. Like, is that a word? Think of ideate? Because that would be. <sighs> it could be, because I think this is I'd. Think of claim from energy consumer. I'd eat e. I suppose. Oh no, I'd eat e. Claim from energy consumer. I'd eat e for energy. Wow, clever. I think that must be right then. So what is this? North American country run by dictator. In Panama, Canada. Um, run by dictator I just don't know North American country run by oh dictator could mean something that's said out loud so it sounds the same I don't know well rather than sitting here in silence let's see if we can reveal a letter Okay, that's unexpected. Um, no, I'm going to reveal another one. Oh, isn't there a language that's called Canada or something? I don't know. Let's just reveal the word. Oh, can. Canada, that's, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a language? Look at that typo. Oh no, so, so I was completely wrong about this one. Denotated. So that is, oh, that's a brilliant clue. That is detonated, set off with the T-O-N raised, but the other way, N-O-T. Denotated. That's great. I like that. Your score, 307. I don't know if that's good. Wow, 40 minutes nearly that took me. Blimey, that was really hard, but fantastic theme. Some really good clues in there. A couple I didn't understand. Let me know in the comments what, what was going on in those. But uh, yeah, that is fantastic. I'll definitely be coming back to this website to try some more of... Um, Go away, I'm sleeping's puzzles. Oh, it's absolutely superb. I do like a uh, puzzle with a theme as well. Brilliant, brilliant. So thanks uh, GAIS for sharing this and um, sorry to wake you. Okay, thanks. Uh, subscribe button is on the screen now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.